I would like to invite general English program students for public speaking competition. The candidate are uh, as follows. Wang Sujin will be talking about cyber bullying. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's such an honor for me to be a part of this competition. My name is Suji. I'm 14 years old. I'm studying English File Intimidate Plus with teacher Gavin, and I'm here to point out the flaws and negative effects of cyberbullying. If anyone is unsure what is cyberbullying is, let me make it crystal clear. Cyberbullying is when someone, typically a teenager, bullies or harasses people with the use of digital devices, especially on the internet and with social media. As we all know, nowadays, most teenagers and adults are addicted to social media such as Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and Twitter, etc. Social media can be really useful and entertaining, but it also can be made really, really toxic by cyberbullyers. Cyberbullying includes sending abusive messages, publicly posting embarrassing things to humiliate someone, or threatening harmful things towards someone. The bullies will target and attack things such as what you look like or your actions. Sometimes you've got to be careful on what you post or show on your platforms, especially for celebrities, idols, or any famous, famous people, since the audience and fans are targeting on them. If you're an idol and if you make just one little mistake, some people will point it out and quickly criticize and may also spread rumors about you. If you get cyberbullied, it will affect your mental health really badly. It can cause anxiety, depression, stress, low self-esteem, illness, and more. Um, people who get cyberbullied will often feel isolated and they probably won't want to go out and socialize anymore. And it will not only affect their mental health, but they will have academic issues too. The big Tom will be losing interest in school because of the embarrassment and the fear of judgment from their schoolmates. Besides all these problems, um, it will affect their behavior, physical condition, and may lead to suicidal thoughts. The um, physical effects include eating disorders and sleeping disturbance, which are not good things for your health. Some victims may also self-harm, like wanting to cut or hurt themselves, and they could take a risk to attempt suicide, like Su Lee, a Korean K-pop idol who committed suicide. She was also outspoken against cyberbullying, was dealing with depression, social phobia, and a panic disorder. And in the end, she cut off her life short. And what was the cause of it? Cyberbullying. In summary, as we all know about cyberbullying and how harmful it can be to a person, we should all be careful on what we say on the internet and avoid this kind of behavior. I believe that uh, cyberbullying can be even worse than bullying in person. Um, because of the cowardly bully would be brave enough to say the most terrible and disturbing things about you, that they would be too scared to say it to your face. They can hide behind their devices and the internet connection to avoid the consequences of their action. It only takes a minute for the bullies to uh, post abuse and just quickly forget about it when the victim can be damaged for months or maybe even years. Therefore, we should all never do it for that reason that it won't benefit anyone or make anything better at all, and it provides a lot of problems. If you find yourself a victim of cyberbullying, just ignore what they say, block them, and report the um, abuse on the platform you're using. Um, always stay safe online and never post any personal information that people can use against you. Lastly, I would like to appreciate everyone for being uh, quiet and listening to my speech. Good night.